What's up guys, Ron in here, back with some more World of Warcraft Let's Play. And I promised a new zone. Yes, I did, and we are down here in Slithis. Silithus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I believe it is Silithus. Uh, but either way, a very different uh, contrast to the previous zone. Obviously, we are in a big desert zone now. Um, today's mini pet is actually going to be my fringe droid here, who is actually the Rascal Bot. And of course, he is themed after Bad Robot I uh, Guy, which of course Fringe is made uh, by Bad Robot. So, I don't think I've showed him off before. That's why I wanted to do him. Uh, he is one of my favorite mini pets. He's really cool. And uh, so we'll have some fun with him. I'm going to be going with Ravage today because of course we're in Silithus and there's plenty of bugs and things. And to hit the theme as well, I'm going to be riding on my Amber Scorpion, which of course is something you can get from the... Uh, Manted in the Dreadways? I think that's right. Let's see here. That's how I get to Pandaria. It's been a while. Yeah, the Dreadways. And I believe they're called the Manted. So, fits with the bug theme uh, and all that good stuff. Are there quests upstairs? Looks like there's quests upstairs. Ah! I used to run around on a mountain in a building and used to getting dismounted. And this is actually, for some reason, a really busy place. I see a lot of people running around. Um, I think a lot of people are coming down here at 55 or so to level. Because it is a pretty good zone for leveling. Now, mind you, we only need two levels before Outlands. So I'm not going to be finishing this zone. Or at least that's unlikely. Uh, so there we go. We got a few quests down here. We actually got one to just turn in right there. So I'm going to run to that and we're going to see what it is. And Silithus is a lot of, a zone that a lot of you may not have seen much of, just because if you didn't play vanilla, you got into the game and you could have bypassed it very easily, because it was originally a level 60 zone, and they just kind of bumped it down to 50 to 55 now, or 55 to 60. So, it's a big bug zone, uh, obviously desert as well, mixed in with the uh, Silithid, who are sort of alien bugs I think I don't remember if they're actually aliens or not but uh they've got a bunch of hives here and it's a big problem and then of course Encourage uh, is down south really that's gonna trap me that was lame uh, uh, yeah Encourage is down that way you can see some of the buildings there and of course the new zone that they added with Cataclysm Oldham is right by as well so an interesting area I always had fun here and uh, they did some nice PvP stuff that kind of worked in vanilla. It was iffy for a while. Um, I never did too much with it, but I'm not a big PvPer. Oh, everybody's slowly loading. There we go. There you are. How you doing, orc friend? Now listen up. Um, okay. Deliver Silithist. Uh, there's these little piles of red sand every once in a while. And you can pick them up, and once you've picked them up, I don't think you can mount, but you, you have to run, and you're automatically PvP flagged. But you deliver them to them, and they do this little meter up here, and uh, that's how that goes. So I'm actually going to see if I can find some. However, I'm probably going to try and journey on my way over to these quest hubs just to get going, because yeah, the dust can be hard to find sometimes. They're just these little piles of pink dust. Big enough to see. I mean, it's not. They're not tiny, tiny. I'm on a scorpid. You shouldn't attack me. I guess it is a different species, though. I thought about doing a scorpid mini pet, but they're all kind of mundane. There's no real hard to capture ones or anything like that, and it, it just felt. I don't know. Lames and rascal bot's way cooler, especially droid bot or fringe bot. What did I name him? Fringe droid. There we go. Uh, so yeah, no no dust so far. There's the alliance spot where they turn theirs in. And uh, we're getting close to the camp here. In fact, there is the camp. And there was a lot of rep going on with this area. You would kill these guys and they'd drop pages and you turn pen 10 in for rep. You could also get the, their clothes, which we'll get some as we kill them. And uh, when you get the uh, full set, you could activate one of these little pylons and, and then you'd summon a mini boss, kill him, and get some potentially blues or even epics. And there were three tiers of them. So as you collected them, you got rewards from the guy you killed, and eventually you could combine it into an amulet. If you killed three of them, you combine it into an amulet, and you can wear that. Is this not the quest? 
Twilight, Geolord, oh, they're just, none of them are alive. Let's check another camp. There's actually three of these camps, so. Anyways, once you kill three of them, you combine that amulet at town, and they will then provide you with, or with that amulet. And then you can wear that with another set, and you can summon a bigger guy. And then you can do that three times. So there's one of the Twilight Robes and one of the pages. Uh, once you do the second level three times, you can do a third level, which would take, oh, yeah, I think it just took nine guys to get the biggest one. But that one would drop really good blues, potential epics, that kind of stuff. It, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of time consuming, but it was a good addition to the game that got a lot of accomplished and a fun rep. It was one of the first reps that wasn't insane to do. It wasn't easy. I mean, it did take a while, but it wasn't just like, hey, you're not getting legendary or you're not getting exalted on this, even if you want it. Um, I'm starting to wonder if this is actually going to be feasible. It seems like a lot of people are farming this rep and stuff still, which is interesting to me. We're going to kill this lady. She's uh. She drops a book on a quest, I think, or I don't remember, but she has a chance for pages, I think. More pages. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, there's one of the Geolords that we need, though. We'll go get him. And unfortunately, we may just be kind of circling around for a bit, trying to find these guys. Ooh, Twilight Prophet. Okay, we want to kill her. I believe this is the lady that drops uh, 10 pages. So we're going to check that out, see what we can do here. Oh, beast mode on her. Oh, multi shot, multi shot. I don't see having any problem really. I'm on 58, pretty good level. Should have kill shot there. This is one of the first challenges though I've had in a while. We've been in Winter Spring so long, everything was pretty easy to kill. And I mean, even these guys are only 54, so just the fact that I just had to take on three of them. All right, so I should get, yeah, 12 pages. So the Twilight Prophet dropped a bunch of pages. That's really good, because now I got that one quest completed, which could have been a while, taken a while to do. Uh, the third camp, I believe, is down here. So might go check that out. I'm going to swing by this other camp again. Uh, we'll probably go turn the pages in, see if there's anything after that. And uh, we'll continue to look for the Silithist as well. And again, depending on how this episode goes, I may not be in this zone next episode. Just because if I'm wandering around a lot, uh, just trying to find mobs and stuff because I'm well fought over, that's not entertaining for you or anybody. You don't want to watch me running around. You want to watch me killing things and accomplishing goals and missions and quests and getting things done. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, see, there's just constantly people here. And this is one of the problems with cross realm zones while I think overall cross realm zones are nice they populate your zones they make the game uh, not an empty world in these old zones it is a problem when I want to just do a quest and these guys are in my way because I would be well and done with the Geolord one by now uh, if these other people weren't here um, yeah we're gonna go check the south one actually no let's turn the pages in first uh, because again it may have something to follow up <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, a spider that I need to kill. Cool. That will probably be a lot easier to do. Nobody's farming the spiders. We probably will go to that quest instead. Uh, the pages, as far as they go, we're going to leave that worm there for a second, but we'll kill this one. Anyways, if I can finally get to the pages. The pages are infinite. You can turn them in considerably. Um, I believe there's one person you can turn it in for rep with, and one person that will give you less rep, but some gear or something I don't remember exactly how it works but you can keep turning them in so you want to keep getting those pages that's why the Twilight Prophet's really nice it gives you enough for a single turn in and not gonna complain about that are you all right we'll swing up here turn this in really quickly hello mr. druid Cryptid Twilight text thank you and yeah there you go just a repeatable quest I believe there's a guy over here in a cave that will eventually get a quest to go to that takes them as well and might give something other than rep. So I'm hoping by swinging over this way, there's one of the hives by the way, Hive Ashi, Ashi, 
Yeah, here we go. We're into a heart of uh, a lot of spiders. Uh, Scorpids that we need to kill, that kind of thing. As well as worms. We got a lot of quests. I like this. Take care of all of these guys in here. So, yeah. Um, things are going good. Obviously, you can see we're almost halfway through this level already. Working our way to Outlands. I'm excited for that. I would expect we will be there for maybe five episodes. Couldn't be too long. Um, I do have a lot of rested bonus right now. I haven't done an episode in three, four days. So I got a lot of rested XP for that. I tried to log out in inns and I wasn't able to do such for a while. And now it's been a lot easier lately. So I've been doing it. And uh, it's making things go a little quicker, which is good. Get into Outlands. That's what we all want to see. Get myself a uh, warp lizard? Warp stalker warp stalker i think is the right term yeah so that that's exciting i wanted one of those for a long time never bothered to tame one i mean i have an 85 hunter alliance side but he's a i, I have a devil sword with him i have king mosh with him so it's kind of silly to uh get otherwise when you've got king mosh uh, one disappointing thing about King Mosh is that there's the new troll devil swords that look way cooler because their graphics are up res. So if I can eventually get one of those, that's what I'll do instead. But for now, I gotta be happy with King Mosh. That was a difficult one to grab. Um, I did get him, I think, when I was 80. So 10 levels above the original intended level of capturing him. But he still does his fear and makes you run around a bit every once in a while. So... He's a, he's a pain to capture. I don't know if you've ever tried to capture him as a hunter, but give it a shot. It, it's kind of fun. Uh, the biggest pain, obviously, is finding him. I only missed him once. My big thing was I rarely ever saw him spawned. It, it took quite a few months to years to get him spotted a couple times. And my phone is going off. Why are you going off, phone? Don't need to respond to that while I'm making a video, do I, guys? Um, so, yeah, King Mosh, hard to get. Took me a long time. And I advise you try it, because it's a lot of fun. If you can do it at 70, um, I do say that would be a lot more fun. Problem is now, especially, again, with uh, merged realms or cross realms, you're going to have people fighting over them. And one of the problems I've seen is um, I saw King... Uh, whatever the King Devil Sword is in N'Goro, he was spawned. Actually, he might be King Mosh. Am I been saying this wrong name the whole time? Well, I saw the King Devil Sword in N'Goro spawn the other day when I was flying over it, so I went and looked for it, and he wasn't there. And it was because I was flying on a different realm, and when I landed, I changed to a different instance of the realm again. And, of course, he wasn't spawned in that one, which really is disappointing. You want to go and kill the big guy, and he's not there. Now I'm curious, which one's King Mosh and what's the other one? King Mosh. Okay, King Mosh is the Ungoro Crater one. So, of course, now I'm curious what the green one's called. Let's see if we can do Green Devil Soar. Um, yeah, tell me the name. <laughs> they show plenty of images of him. King Crush. There we go. Uh, yes, I got King Crush on my level 85 Hunter, so that's pretty exciting. I was way happy to get him, and uh, yeah, so cool, cool. Uh, let's do a spin around here. I'm not seeing anybody up. Looks like it's being successfully farmed. I'm guessing there's some 80s, 5s, 90s, whatever in here, uh, grabbing a lot of these guys. Oh, they are spawning up, though. Let's see if we can capture, kill a couple of these. A couple tapped at once. We still need... Well, we're going to need four after these two. Hopefully that one over there is still up. Yes, it is. Those looted. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wee! I almost said weak. Why would I say weak? I don't know. I'm losing my mind, guys. All right, so down you go. That's that lady again. Not as important as I thought. She's part of a quest line or something. Because obviously she doesn't drop any extra pages on, like, guaranteed or anything. Okay, so we'll need one more, well, two more after you, but there's one over here that I want to grab. 
pages. I'm up to four pages. Move that robe there. Let's grab you. Anything else special? That's just quest items. We'll put those aside. I think I will continue here next episode just because uh, this isn't too bad. I mean, it, it took a little longer than I wanted to do this specific quest, but the others seem to be fine. Um, got lucky, of course, with the Twilight Prophet getting those pages. But yeah, not, not too bad. And I am going to go turn these in now. Ooh, there's a cowl as well. If I do manage to get a full set, I'll do at least one summon to show you guys. Uh, so I still need a mantle. So I bet I will because I think there's more quests to kill more of them. So we'll try and do that at least once just to show it off, show you off uh, what I was talking about so much. But yeah, I mean, that this is pretty much still at this, guys. Uh, there are some other regions that we'll go to. Uh, there's some ghosts over here. We'll probably go into one of the hives because that's pretty cool. Uh, you used to do the Wind Fury sword quest up here to get the legendary. In fact, I'm, I'm assuming it's still up there. And, of course, Ankaraj is down there. We'll probably go ahead and go visit that just to show you off a little bit of that. But that is Silithus. I'm going to run up here, turn in the quest. We'll call that the episode. Uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe so we can be a more World of Warcraft, more of this Silithus. Of course, Outland's coming up soon. Got to be excited about that first expansion in this Let's Play series. In WoW's history, I suppose, would be a better thing to say. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn in that. And yeah, there you go. Uh, slay Veril the Vile and obtain Veril's Signet Ring. Um, okay, no, that's just a quest. I thought that was one of the helper summoning items. You do get some from quests uh, in a different fashion. I don't remember exactly how. Uh, so yeah, he just wants 10 more of those. Is that the only quest I've completed right now? I guess it is. I thought I finished the worm one, but I think it's part of this one. No, I just didn't kill them all. They were different types of worms. Okay, well, that's the only one I had completed for now anyways, guys. That is going to do it for now. I have been Zerondin. Uh, again, please thumbs up. Please subscribe. That really helps out. And uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. I will catch you all next time. Oh, my gosh. I almost coughed in the middle of that. Let's try that one more time. Next time.